Good morning. So where do you stand on the Will Smith versus Chris Rock debate? For those of you who haven't followed that particular bit of showbiz trivia, at the Oscars last weekend, Chris Rock made an inappropriate joke about Will Smith's wife and Will Smith decided to step up on stage and slap Chris Rock. Proverbs 29, 11 says, Fools give vent to their rage. The wise bring calm in the end, or the wise quietly hold it back, keep themselves under control. There have been lots of comments about the inappropriateness of violence. Uh, but it's interesting, of course, the film industry uh, revels in the graphic, graphic depiction of violence. So I wonder if there's a little bit of hypocrisy there. I don't know. I can't comment how I would have responded if someone had made an inappropriate comment about my wife. The general consensus seems to be, though, that two wrongs don't make a right. And of course, escalation is never healthy. We can see how dangerous that can be when violence leads to violence. But what do we do with our anger? Jesus overturned tables, let's face it. But then he also said, when someone strikes you on the one cheek, offer them the other. I'll just give you two thoughts this morning, really. One is channel our anger into prayer. First of all, ask if the anger is justified. And if it is, then ask the Lord for wisdom. Ask the Lord for him to right the wrong. And secondly, channel it into a constructive response. Maybe Will Smith might have done better to use his wit to put Chris Rock down. I don't know. Maybe if our anger is against injustice, we can start to campaign right to the right people. I don't know. There's no easy answer, but I leave it to you to ponder today. I pray that you will know God's blessing as you do so.